Okie dokie, hello, welcome to Roulette Prop and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit subscribe, it is free. My channel is growing, I am getting more subscribers daily, which is fantastic and phenomenal stuff. Thank you very much for your support and continued support. Um, the roulette tools I develop, as you see on screen at the minute, are reference tools to how I like to play and gamble. Um, if you want to play like I play, then you can use the tools. Um, some tools just give you information based on what's happening on the table. And you can make your own decisions on where to place the bets. And other tools recommend numbers to cover based on the last number out. Now, I'm going to be using the missing section roulette tool on this setup. So, I've got a balance of £7, 17 pence. Basically, I've spent three quid. I deposited a tenner. I did have £10, 17 pence. I've spent £3 on a horse racing bet. I'm going to put that on screen for you now. So, you can find these selections in the description below. I'm going to put a link to my blog, which is where you can find these selections for today's racing in the UK. New, two at Newbury and two at York. The bet I've done is an each way lucky 15, and it pays 116 to 1. So, I've done an each way lucky 15 on those four selections. 230 Newbury, Cracks King. Uh, 3 o'clock at Newbury, Dilig Diligently, 4.45 uh, at York, Eldrick Jones, and 5.20 at York, Ziggy's Missile. I've gone each way about all four of those selections, and in each way, lucky 15. And if you want to know more, if you want to look at those again, either pause this this recording, or go to my, the link in the, uh, the link to the blog um, in the description below. Okay, let's get back on to the, uh, the game at hand. So I spent £3. That's how much it's cost me to place that bet, right? So I want to recover the cost of the bet using my roulette tool. So effectively, I'm betting for free. And if that other bet wins, I'm in profit. So click to play. I'm going to input the history of numbers from the table into the tool. Once I've input all the numbers from the history into this tool, that's when I can start playing and start hopefully making a few quid. But I'm only looking to make three pound profit, which is oh well, the, a three pounds, yeah, target. Let's call it. Unless it's not technically profit, unless I get more than what I started with in the balance. I'm just trying to recover the bet I've already placed <coughs> on the horse racing right so I've got my tracking value in the lower left corner set to a value of six so anything that misses like an outside bet a dozen or a row misses for six spins in a row it will highlight blue and it'll alert me of that happening and then I'll start placing my bet so I am looking to make just three pounds on this setup to get my balance to read ten pound and then I'm gonna stop because then today I've bet for free. So what I might do is look for another bet to place at three pound, pull that up and do it again. So I might do a number of bets today on the horse racing. Probably pick some horses in the same races that I've already picked to come in each way on an each way lucky 15 so if i do a 10 pence each way lucky 15 it costs me three pound so i might do a couple of those today see if i can get lucky hitting on uh, a few of those uh 18 went to 14 right third dozen so third dozen's my bet so third dozen has not hit for six spins in a row. So the last time it landed a number on that third dozen, it was number 25. You can see six spins has passed since it landed that number and nothing else has landed. So 25 to 36, this is for one pound profit on this bet. That's in between look, <laughs> the in between numbers. It's always gonna put the number that could land in between on the setup, 100%. So if I look at 26 and 32, the zeros in between that 
the 28 and the 35 that number 12 just landed so that's that so if you've got any numbers in between on this setup you need to cover those as well that's my advice because it will go to the in-between number and fuck you over like it just did there so this is my second bet this will give me 150 profit on this bet if i hit 25 to 36 don't want to see zero 30 is good that's a win boom so i'm just looking to get my balance back to 10 pounds so i've just made 150 there so i just need to make another 150 and then that's me done now i can do this in a number of different ways i do not have to I do not have to set up camp on the dozens and rows only, just limiting myself, waiting for six misses in a row, then placing a bet on any single one. I can do double dozens, I can do whatever I see that's happening on the table that I think I could potentially benefit from. Like now I could do 36 neighbour, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do the one as well. This is a two pounds forty pence bet. I should have done it at I should have actually done it at ten pence really, but I'm on one four one four seven thirty six as my bet with one number either side. I used the race track to place the bets on one four seven thirty six. My trigger from for one is thirty six neighbor or the four neighbor. There you go. Nineteen's a four neighbor. So that gets me over my target. And that allows me to give me give me uh, a three pound bet, so I can create I can place now another each way lucky fifteen, a ten pence each way lucky fifteen four horse selections, and I've got another free bet here now because I've used um, the roulette tool for the dozens and rows, and I used my combo number for number one, which is one four seven thirty six. And the neighbor of four landed and it put me into a more profitable position so now i can go back to the horse racing and pick another four horses which i'll add on to the end of this video and i'll post it up on the uh in the description um in below so you can see the link to the the blog so i'll um i'll bring you back shortly and I'll update my, my, uh, for another another set of selections and I'll put them on my blog. So you'll see my balance will go, well, you won't see my balance, but my balance will be at 10.47 when I finish. Because I'm going to spend another £3 on the horse racing. And that is me done. I'll bring you right back um, with my second set of horse racing selections. Effectively, I'm betting for free. That's what I'm trying to show and share. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I've since placed another bet, and it's this one. And it's an each way lucky 15 again, and it pays 612 to 1. So, if you win them at all at the current odds, so in the 215 at York, it ain't 2, 230 Newbury, high fiber, 245 at York, and a leap, which is a big price, and 445 York, Danzan. So these are all to get placed. Um, and it's an each way lucky 15. So if a portion of the bet wins, I get some money back. Uh, but if they all win, I get 612, well, 612 to 1. I've done a 10 pence each way lucky 15, which costs £3. And it's a bet for free today. I'm going to continue doing this today. I'm going to try and make another bet, I think. Um... I'm going to play using the roulette, uh, missing section roulette tool. And I'm going to try and make another bet later. So these are the first two bets. I'm going to try and win another £3. So I'm effectively betting for free today. Thanks for tuning in. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to smash the old like button. Um, if you've just watched Roulette Profit and Stop on YouTube, hit the subscribe it is free my channel is growing give it a thumbs up if you like the content let me know if you're betting on these horses or not and uh, in the comments below thanks again see you soon